Welcome crafters, Andy is Yoda here and this is Jedi Mansion episode 14. Welcome back and let's get on with this straight away. If you haven't seen Jedi Mansion, it's kind of my signature um, series and I tell you what, a lot of people are watching it so thank you so much for all the views and the likes, much much appreciated. It's a big fantasy mansion for a Jedi and in the last episode I was working on the ceiling and as promised I finished it off camera. I've got these nice big columns holding up the roof for this mansion and I've changed the roof area around here as well so it's looking okay lots of bushes as well and I've made a little change to the staircase so please coordinates are in the description come on the server and have a look around the mansion yourself and then you can suggest things to build in the mansion because I pretty much follow you guys suggestions and one of the main suggestions was a holographic table in this control room so I've put the holographic table right here with just a block of blue stained glass. I changed these computer screens as well, these kind of see-through double-sided screens with a little bit of light at the bottom there, which meant I had to change the tables a little bit. Anyway, moving swiftly on, down here, I've started to carve out a room through here. And I've made it a big circular room, or I'm going to. I've marked out with blue wool where the circle can be. And... People have been suggesting in the comments, make a Jedi Council meeting room. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a big circle here, and if we fly out, I'll show you where this is on the mountainside. Sticking into the mountain right there. So we're going to have some windows all the way around, making kind of a circle. And I might have to make the mountain a bit beefier as well. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is dig out the circle, just digging out blocks, and since digging out blocks is kind of boring, I am going to be doing the digging out off camera. So I think that's all I wanted to say just now. Okay, so be right back in a second once all this is dug out about four or five bricks high, and then we can go about making a Jedi Council meeting room with all the seats around in a circle. Be right back. This is what I've done. So. We've got plenty of space on the outside to form some cool looking exterior. We've got a bit of a cliff still there and then more exterior around here. And what I've done inside is I've made this yellow circle on the floor to represent where the seats are going to be for this council chamber. So I'm also going to have seats here, 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 here and here. So how many seats do we have? Loads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 seats at this Jedi Council. Um, now, we're struggling for a door, so I thought we could carve a door in here and just burst through back into the main house. Let's see where this comes out. Make it three high. Hopefully this should burst in somewhere convenient. That's not bad. That's not bad. Might move it over one so it's just a little bit neater. Let's see what happens. There we go. After lots of frantic clicking, we have got ourselves a little doorway in here. I'm just going to push this back by one. Like that. So, we're getting there. Bit by bit. There we go. So that door needs to be neatened up and made all kind of... I don't know what floor I'm going to have in this Jedi Mansion uh, council base here. This Jedi base right in here. I'm not sure. Um, and I guess that block there can just go. Right. Let's build a little bit of the exterior of this base. So what bricks do we need? Hmm. Got new one point eight bricks as well, which I really should be using. So let's see if we can incorporate some of the new bricks as well today. Maybe we should have some sort of little skirt like this to start with. Boom, boom, boom. Nothing wrong with the skirt, right? By the way, kilts are not skirts. They are fearsome clan warrior highland clothes, okay? Don't mess. Not that I've ever worn a kilt. But I'm from, I'm a lowlander. I wasn't born in the Highlands, so I don't think I should wear a kilt. It's just my opinion. Um, 
if you're Scottish, let me know what you think. Right, so let's have on here... Um, what am I doing? Let's put that back. On here, we're going to have some windows. So we're going to finish that off there and there. And just build this up as a wall. Like that. And then across the way, we're going to have some windows. Now, let's go for some black stained glass for these windows. And the wool is obviously going to have to change as well. The blue wool. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. And then here, we'll go for... I think I'm going to have to accept this, right? This guy's not going to give up. Boom, like that. He's got a Santa costume on. <laughs> And then we'll put some more windows right here. And some more of these blocks like that. And then these ones can just get filled in as well. Cool. Okay, what do you think so far? Looking a little bit weird? I think it is looking a little bit weird. Do I want it to go this high? That is the question. And it's kind of really cutting into this cliff here, which I don't like very much. I might have to either live with this being cut right under or do something a bit more cleverish. And I guess that's not a word really, is it? Okay, so let's have a little bit of a skirt up here. More skirts than you can shake a stick out in this video today. Boom, 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 boom. That's one reason I don't fancy wearing a kilt. It, it, it's kind of cold in Scotland a lot of the time. Um, and I don't want to get a draft in these kind of places, you know? You, these places you want to keep warm. Right. That's looking okay. You know, often in Minecraft you just have to bang down some blocks and don't worry too much. Because things usually work out in the end. That's what happens in Minecraft. Things have got a habit of just working out. And this, I know, won't be the final design. We'll be doing something better than this, but you have to start. You have to start placing down blocks. And then you go, hmm, replace this one, replace that one. And you change things. So it looks like I do need a bit more of a mountain on top of this, and that's fine. I can, what I'll do for next episode is I'll add more mountain on top. Now you've seen me make mountain in the thing episode one, so I wouldn't be doing that again. So there we go. Boom, 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 boom. And let's put some blocks down like this. And some across here. Whoops. Out of the way, guests. One, two, three, four. Everything quicker when you can in Minecraft. Oh, more guests. More guests than you can shake a stick at. They're all watching today. Right. There we go. Thank you so much for all the comments you put on my videos lately, especially the Jedi Mansion series, uh, which I know you guys are absolutely loving. And I'm sorry it's been so long, but I haven't really felt like building it, to be honest. And if I don't feel like building it. I don't want to just turn out an episode that's kind of looking a little bit rotten because I'm feeling grumpy <laughs> or just uh, not in the mood for building. Plus, plus, I mean, the, that's one small reason, but the major reason is the amount of lag on walk right now while the Corrales is incredible. It really is um, incredible. So, let's build up a little bit of cliff under that um, and let's just continue so building with that amount of what lag is, is incredible this is why I'm not using shaders today I'm afraid for those of you who like to see me build with the shaders on it ain't gonna happen to die that's for sure Ugh, come on block placing lag you see you place the blocks and then boom they disappear is that kind of sticking out I think it looks okay. Right, I'm going to build up a little bit of uh, mountain on top of that. Be right back when that's done. 
Well, I thought I'd show you me building up the cliff, just in case some of you weren't too familiar with how I do it. I just drop layers of sand, like that. What's going on? <laughs> Come on, sand drop. I think it might be a little bit too laggy on the server to show you this just now. Let's see if I can drop another one. There's another one coming down. Anyway, I'm just going to drop all the sand down bit by bit and then delete all the sand here, replace sand zero that's um, fallen down on the outside and keep on doing that until I get right up there. Anyway, I'll have to pause the video. Too laggy. Well, there we go. A big sand extravaganza, a big sand castle. So what I'm going to do now is replace 12, which is sand, with 3 which is dirt and then I'm going to go slash slash naturalize will give it a much more natural feel hopefully once the lag uh, <laughs> once the lag stops working come on oh well that's as natural as it's going to get I don't know why there isn't any stone in there anyway moving on um, what I'm going to do on the outside here is just repeat exactly what I've done on the other side. I'm going to make it look exactly the same. So I'll be right back when that's all done. Okay, and there's the outside of it looking pretty splendid. I need to tidy up the cliff a little bit, but it's not bad. Right, let's head inside. Smashing entrance that. And we can start to think about the floor. Let's pick a nice block. What about, let's just have a look at some of these new blocks. Polished andesite, polished granite. One of these three would look really good for the floor, I think. Um, so that one's pretty smart. And then we've got this one here. What's this again? Diorite. Sounds like something you have after a bad curry. Oh, I was suffering with some diorite. Um... What do we think? What floor? I think this one here. I think this polished polished one here is really quite smart. In fact, what we could do is put the polished one on the outside of the floor like this. Maybe even two lines thick like this. Boom, 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 boom. See what I mean by the lag? Isn't it terrible? <laughs> Ah, ah, go away! Um, do you know what? I don't like it two lines thick. But my idea is then to take the ordinary andesite like that and it creates kind of a like a little border around the outside. Cool, huh? Yeah, I do like this for the floor. So guess what I'm going to have to do? Pause the camera once again and do all the boring bits and put in a, a floor for the Jedi Council. In fact, I'll put the floor right up to the yellow here and maybe we'll change it on the inside, the inner circle. That would look pretty smart. Over here, I have put this chiseled block here in place of the wool. And I think that looks pretty smart. Although with the lag, it's quite difficult to place it all. Let's see what happens. How many did I get? Nearly all of them. Not bad, not bad at all. And we can get rid of that, like that. So, okay, right, back in a second when I have got rid of the blue wool, put this floor down up to here. I guess before I go, what we could do, we could decide on the inner floor, couldn't we? And what I could do is put this stuff around the inner floor like that and that would look pretty cool i think so yeah inner floor what could that be hmm any other new amazing blocks well, we've got this sandstone that's actually this red sandstone i wonder how cool that would look that's really nice actually in fact i really love that red land sandstone in 1.8 flows that's looking really cool. Okay, so I'm going to be flooring for the next 10 minutes. Be right back when that's done. All oh, complete. Took absolutely ages. Now, the seats. Oh, by the way, I did the ceiling as well. So we've got a light shaft coming in. So light coming right down into the middle of this Jedi Council meeting room. So little seat design I came up with as well. 
and I'm going to put this banner on. Now, if you want to know how to do the banner, uh, then just follow the link in the description. Oops. And that shows you, links you to a Planet Minecraft page where it shows you. So we've got a green lightsaber and a red lightsaber on every seat. Right, let me do all the seats. Be right back. Okie dokie, that's all the seats done. Um, took absolutely ages. I think I've remembered all the, the signs. Got this cool little lamp design over here using the new armor stand. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Um, I'm going to put another one. Where should I put another one? I guess I'll put another one about here. Which is fine. So what I want to do for this is get um, a bit of fence right above it. And then a piston right above the fence. And then a block and a lever on that. Pull the lever and it pushes the fence down into... <laughs> Look at the lag. <laughs> How cool does that look as well? Wow. Um, what am I talking about? Where did it go? There it's gone. Yeah. Push the fence down into the armor stand and then do the same again. Pushing both fence and armor stand down there. And then I'm going to put on a sea lantern. And I don't think you need to push it down, but I just do it anyway. Like that. And it's a cool little lamp. Isn't that a nice little base it's got? Very schmexy. So I'm going to put a couple over here as well. But before I do that, I was thinking, maybe we could do another holographic table right in the middle. About here is right in the middle. And put these around it. Sandstone stairs. Boom, boom, boom. And this little holography thing there. So these steel lanterns are really cool. Okay, cool. We're gonna do another couple of lamps. Be right back when that's done. Okay, so what have I done? What have I done? I've done the lamps. There we go. I'm having some difficulty with this lamp. Something derping about about that uh, block on walk. So never mind. Um, I've changed the floor pattern a little bit as well, and I've started to build these little shelves here. Now I think they're a bit out of place in this Jedi Council room. So what I need from you guys is ideas of what to put around the sides of this Jedi Council room. I thought I'd quickly show you how to build these shelves anyway, before the lag slowly drives me nuts. So we're going to do set 1676 and 4567. All these numbers change which way around the... or which way these are actually facing. So this one needs to be 7 to be on the inside. And then we're going to get rid of these magenta bits of wool. Set zero once the second position comes up. So, yeah, the lag is becoming a bit ridiculous. So I'm going to stop building there. You can even see my armor stand that disappeared from that lamp. So I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what else to put into this Jedi temple. Why did I say temple? Jedi council room. Okay, please tell me. Okay. Uh, hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Welcome to all my new subscribers and Jedi Mansion episode 15 will be out before seven days have passed. I think it was much more than that the last time. So less than seven days to wait for the next episode, episode 15. But this has been number 14. Thank you so, so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.